Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tui. In the last episode we uh, entered World 2 Glitter Gulch Mine. And my game froze for some reason. So in this episode we're gonna get some jiggies with Mambo here. The first one is uh, right over here. Well not over there, it's uh, near this warp point. This right here is the train station. And this is where we're gonna see the uh, spell that Mambo does in this world. Because as you can see we have a Mambo pad right there. Did I just get myself caught behind the barrel? Uh, I, almo I almost forgot that one was there. <laughs> but I checked that chest, I know uh, that crate. I know one of these had a empty honeycomb but I forgot it was that one. Hope this works. So Mambo's spell in this world is levitate. And he's gonna put the train back in place for us. And actually this train is gonna be another way to move between the worlds. It's pretty awesome. Most worlds uh, we're gonna see are gonna have a train station. The first one didn't have one. And we haven't seen the one in Isle of Hex yet. But trust me, they do have a train station. And uh, yeah. That's gonna be awesome when we get to it. And now we should probably head back to the crushing shed. Because as you might remember there was another mumbo pad out there. We're actually still missing the last warp point for this place. But I think I do know where it is. So let's... Levitate this boulder. And this animation takes so long. It moves so slow. It's it's kinda lame. <laughs> We're gonna have to wait for this. And this is why we wanted to uh do the stuff in the crushing shed as Banjo and Kazooie so we can actually get the uh chiggy that's in this boulder. And just look at this, look at how slow that boulder moves, oh my god. <laughs> so I guess in the meantime I might as well talk about some other stuff right here. It is uh, currently February 18th, it is 9pm. And um, yeah, like I said I had the day off today even though I had to work on a bunch of school stuff which kind of sucked, especially since me and my friend didn't really make that much progress on it which is kinda lame but oh well and also it's uh, the first week after uh, Wind Waker started which I'm still pretty excited for be recording some more of that tomorrow and it looks like we're finally done with this animation but as you can see uh, not only the boulder got crushed but the jiggy got crushed as well so we get to collect the pieces, and this is something that I really like. Every time you collect a piece, it plays a uh, part of the intro of the uh, Jiggy tune there. And once we get this last part, we have another Jiggy. And that's all of the stuff we had to do as Mumbo in this world, as far as I can remember at least. <laughs> so we're just gonna take you back to your skull, Mumbo. And then we're gonna explore this place some more with Banjo and Kazooie because I'm still missing that move. I know what the other move is for this world because this move, this world only has two moves, even though most of the worlds have three. And one of those, the one I'm actually looking for, is the one we need to uh, get rid of those boulders we've been seeing everywhere now. I also need to head back to World One with that move. And do something there in order to get another Jiggy in this world. And I think you might be able to guess what we have to do in World 1. Because we've seen it before. So let's see what else we can find or what else we cannot find. <laughs> I think actually 
there should be a war point inside Mamba inside Wamba's place in this world. But I'm not too sure. Yeah, war point isn't here. I'm still missing the globo though. Ooh, <laughs> I thought my game froze again. Glad it didn't. And I keep walking in circles here, and my commentary is starting to get sucky again. I should probably stop recording pretty soon. That jiggy up there, we can't do any. We can't do anything about that. We need to move from I think world five in order to get that. Let's see where this leads. Ah, the toxic gas cave, huh? I know there's something I can do in here, but we need those... We need that move, man. I wish I remembered where that stupid move was. I can't believe I'm brain farting on this the way I am. Ah, up here we have some more notes. I think we actually have most of the notes right now. Actually, let me make sure. I think we have about 80. Yeah, we do. And we've already seen this, so there's no need for me to check this out again. Not yet. So let's move along. Can't do anything in there. Don't fall off, please. Or actually, it doesn't really matter. There's that place. Ah, I think I found it. Almost forgot it's like right across. I knew it was around here somewhere. Jeez, man. Oh, come on. <laughs> Man, that was one serious brain fart. So, let's do this. Build drill. This makes breaking so much fun. Now listen up to how it's done. Leap high in the air and then hold Z. Watch Kazooie spin and drill with her hat. I should have pronounced it as sad, probably. The Canadian way. Yeah, thanks for the rations. <laughs> we kinda need those. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when he does that. <laughs> oh man. <sighs> so yeah, what I want to do right now is I actually want to get out of this world. And go back to world 1. Because, uh, like I said, there's some stuff we gotta do in there and I'm not gonna warp there. Because that would just be... Well, there's no, not, not really any need for me to warp unless I run out of time. I might cut this trip out then. But yeah. Also, before I... Well, no. I'm gonna wait on that. I should go turn in my Cheeto pages first before I go back to world 1, but... We should, uh... We can build drill this rock, that's how the build drill works. You just hold C. And that's all we have to do, and... That's how we get that Jinjo we've been hearing out here. So... Let's head back to... I can't make up my mind. Because I don't know if I'll be able to... Like, do all of the stuff in World 1 I need to do. I'm just gonna try. I'm, I'm not gonna bother with those Cheetah pages. I'll turn those in when I have some more time. Probably when I'm done with World 2. But we are going back into Mayahem Temple. And luckily, both the things we have to do in this world are pretty close to each other. So let's warp to the prison compound. And we can go over here. 
Because as you might remember, there was something with a rock. Uh, see, I, I keep making up my mind about whether I want to go back to uh, Spiral Mountain to turn in my Cheeto pages. And actually, I think I'm gonna do. I think it's the first thing I'm gonna do in the next episode. Because, well, there's something else I wanna pick up there that I kinda need, or at least I think I need it. But with the build drill, we can finally open up this area and we can get started on this Jiggy. So we have to knock uh we have to knock those pillars out or actually we just have to like hit them with our C B thing. And that jiggy uh we move that jiggy over there and I don't I have no idea why I run a time limit for this. I mean it's not like this is hard. And the time limit here doesn't really make sense. Because we're just making a jiggy jump. I mean how is the time limit involved here? It really doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> and actually, if you do get the jiggy, if you, if you do that, do get that jiggy all the way down, you still need to. Um, you still need to get it within the time limit. So we are finally able to reach it, and that's gonna be our last jiggy for this world. So let's go pick it up. If I can remember where the stairs are. Oh, come on now. There they are. <laughs> Walking in a complete circle there. And we get another Jiggy. And if we look at our totals. That's 100% on Mayahem Temple. We have everything in this world now, which is awesome. But we still need to get back to the previous area. And uh, head back to uh, Dilberta's uh, prison there. Because as you might remember there was a boulder in the way in there. I knew that was gonna happen the second I jumped back on the, onto that land. Oh, don't run away from me stupid honey. At least we don't have to open this up anymore. So we can now just build drill this rock. And there we go. Eek, thanks very much for unblocking my passage. It's worth a jiggy. Hand it over, you plague ridden pest. Eek, I'll have to come and see my master Bill about that. So if we go through this, you'll see that we end up in... Glitter Gulch Mine again. In the prospector's hut, this is actually uh, right across where we got the. Uh, it's actually right across the build drill move, so. Or at least the silo where you get that move. Howdy! My Yubi! I'm Bill. I bet you are. Your other name is gold related. What is it? Gold Bar Bill? Wild Egg Bill? Nope, Bullion Bill is my name. Thought so. What's up, Bill? My rodent partner, Dilberta, went looking for gold. My ship has been gone. Why too? I can't talk. <laughs> we saw a red in prison earlier, didn't we, Kazooie? Yep, a quick call to exterminators or us sorted that one out. You don't mean. Oh, you have to excuse my feathered friend. She's only joking. I think you can hear her now. Hi, honey, I'm home. Dilberta, is that really you? I'm so happy you found my Dilberta. Take this pretty little gold nugget as a reward. My southern accent really sucks. <laughs> so I'm, I'm... I wasn't even trying there. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, that gives us a Jiggy. And that's a Jiggy for this world, so... I'm glad we got that out of the way. And that's actually all we have time for in this episode. So, in the next episode, I'm gonna meet you back at Spiral Mountain. To turn on our cheats and to actually do something else that we can do now that we have the build drill. So, thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you later.